Hello guys, welcome back to yet another interesting video. Today in this video, we'll be comparing AI features of OnePlus running Oxygen OS 14.1 with that of Samsung's One UI 6.1.1. For both the brands, we have a dedicated video already done. You guys can watch out if you guys want to know all the AI features of these brands. Today, we'll be only comparing the AI features which are kind of similar on both the devices. So now without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have two phones towards the left hand side. This is my OnePlus Nord 4 and towards the right hand side, this is Samsung S24. Both of them are running the latest version, OnePlus Oxygen OS 14.1 and Samsung S24 One UI 6.1.1. Guys, before talking about the AI features, if you guys are new to this channel and if you find our content useful to you guys, then make sure to smash the like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. First, let's talk about some AI features which are introduced in the gallery application and the photos application on both the OS. We'll be using the same set of photos which were actually clicked on OnePlus Nord 4. We'll start with the AI eraser feature. So you can see we are taking the similar photo here on both the phones. Tapping on edit, now it asks you to draw an outline around the subject. On OnePlus, it's called Smart Lasso and here it's called Magnetic Lasso. One good thing which I liked on OnePlus, so whenever you draw the outline or you can say the line, you can see a nice animation. And then AI automatically detects the subject and erase it from the particular photo. One interesting thing I'll tell you, the AI on OnePlus is too funny guys. So for example, if I try to remove this particular subject and you'll see the results, it will replace within different subject. There we go. That's not the case on One UI, so I just draw the line and Galaxy AI have highlighted the subject with no time. Just tapping on erase, it will do the needful with no seconds. And you can see how weird AI is behaving of OnePlus. We use this similar photo on both the phones and here you can see the results of AI Razer and compare it with the Samsung's one. So the problem what you saw with AI of OnePlus, that only happens with the pet photos. With human subject, everything works fine. There you can see the results, tapping on erase on Samsung, there we go. So both the AI works fine with the human subject, but there is slight extra blur and those shadows are also seen once you remove the object. And another useful feature what Samsung have added, I think even OnePlus needs to add such things, like you can add any object in the background. There is this option sketch to image, so for example if you draw something here in the background, tapping on generate. And AI will generate that particular thing what you're planning to add in the background. So I think OnePlus needs to add this feature. But another feature which is lacking on Samsung, on Samsung there is no option to remove only people. But here on OnePlus there is an option, you can see the AI analyzes people standing in the frame and it gives you an option to remove all. Tapping on it and you can see it removes all the people available in the frame. If I zoom and show you guys, you can clearly see once I zoom in. Tapping on compare, here's the difference. So the next feature is smart cutout. If you long press on any of the object in the photo, the AI automatically extracts that particular subject. But one thing which I like better on Samsung device is that you can continuously to hold the subject and navigate to any of the application. So this feature is not present on OnePlus, we do have options like save, add as sticker, copy and share. Along with that, you can also extract the subject and drop it to file doc. File doc feature is a very useful, but I like the Samsung implementation. I can drop it wherever I want to. Here also we get options like copy, share and save as stickers. You can also save it as image and edit that particular object. And one feature which I again like on Samsung, there's the ability to select the subject with a single tap. So here, instead of drawing or using the smart lasso tool, I can just tap on the subject. The AI will automatically analyze. That's not the case on OnePlus smartphone. After that, we also have another option. For example, if I long press and hold on this subject, I can move the subject to a different position in the same photo and this background will be automatically filled once I tap on generate. So for example, if I move the pet here and now if I want, I can also increase the size and rotate it however I want to. Now tapping on generate and now you can see the results. I hope this feature also comes on OnePlus smartphone with Oxygen OS 15. See, there are some features which are actually useful on OnePlus smartphones. One of them is this pixelate option. So for example, if you have any screenshot with some sensitive information, you can just tap on auto, the AI will automatically analyze the sensitive content and blur that information. Such features are not available on Samsung's One UI. And few more similar AI features, you guys can find it in the recorder application. So here on Samsung, you can see there's an option of transcript assist. 
basically if you record anything for example lecture the system will automatically detect the language that's not the case on oneplus smartphone here we have only two input languages one is english and chinese but samsung do have a lot of options i'll do a recording on both the devices and will show you guys ai in action so here i have a recording on both the devices you can transcribe that entire audio recording to a text version first let's transcribe the entire script tapping on summary on oneplus and transcribe on samsung's one ui here you can see towards the left hand side it says generating and the task is completed faster on samsung's one ui 6.1.1 compared to oneplus oxygen os on oneplus is directly get saved in the notes so if you open the notes here you can see audio transcribe is here and here is a summarized one another thing which i don't like on oneplus by default it converts the entire audio in hindi format i'm not sure whether only this option is available but on samsung we do have multiple options like it also tells you if there are multiple people talking in the video naming them as speaker one speaker two so on and here if you tap on summary it will create a summarized version of this it also focuses on the keywords so i would say this feature is a lot better on samsung smartphone or you can say one ui 6.1 see it do gives you an option so you know change the languages tapping on add language there are many languages available regional languages are still missing but hopefully samsung will add them in the future updates now there's another ai feature what oneplus have introduced and that's called ai writer so if you have any mail open in the background and you open the smart sidebar you can see there's an option of ai writer but on samsung the implementation is very beautiful instead of adding in the smart sidebar they have implemented this feature in the keyboard itself towards the left hand side you can see an ai icon tapping on it you have an option called composer if you tap on it now you can provide the keywords or the data and before itself you can select the content to be used for email social media or comment and towards the right hand side we have three options professional casual and polite though these things are also here on oneplus smartphone it analyzes the email and here towards the bottom side we have three options concise detail and polite but this implementation is not in the other applications like how samsung have done and i personally find samsung writer feature very useful because i can use it in any application and the next ai feature which is kind of similar on both the phones that's the smart select but here additionally on oneplus you need to take a screenshot to extract that particular content from that screenshot on samsung the smart select was previously available but now they have added ai you have this nice animation towards the edges of the screen just by a single tap you can select the subject you have options like translate you can copy share though these options are also available on oneplus on oneplus you have to hold and drag to select the text but here you can just do it by a single tap the options are kind of similar depending on the operating system oneplus says to save it to file doc here you have option to save it to notes but here oneplus has an upper hand by providing these two new features which is ai speak and ai summary so these features are not present on samsung with a single click you can listen to the entire article present on the screen or you can get the entire summary of the article present on the screen here you have to copy the text and move it to notes and then it will provide you the summary and the last feature is exclusive to oneplus which is beacon link and it is a very useful feature in emergency scenarios until and unless brands are giving the satellite connectivity feature this feature can come in handy and every brand should work together and come up with a similar feature that works across all the smartphones available without mobile data or internet you can easily connect to anyone around you in any kind of emergency scenario so guys these were some of the similar features on oxygen os 14.1 and one ui 6.1.1 according to you guys which device has better implementation of ai for the features which we have covered in this video let us know in the comment section below this is your friend ashok signing out see you guys in the next video